to tell you about a, a young woman that I met in the course of uh, doing the research on my book, Capture the Mindshare. And when I say young woman, I mean young. She's 14 years old. This woman named, uh, or little girl, named Katie Stagliano. And Katie has a great tagline that really says it. Her line is, ending hunger one garden at a time. And when Katie was nine years old, she was in, in the third grade, she had an extracurricular project of, uh, of planting a seed that she was given in her third grade class, you know, take it home, plant it or don't, it was optional. And she took this cabbage seed home and she decided, well, okay, I've got it, I might as well do it. She planted her seed, it grew, she watered it, she fertilized it. Now she's getting uh, sort of invested as she's seeing, seeing it sprout and the leaves coming up. And she had her grandfather build a, a, a deer fence. She called it a cabbage cage around it because they live in a rural area and she didn't want the deer eating her cabbage. And it continued to grow until finally Katie, this little girl, had a 45 pound cabbage on her hands, just about as big as she was. So Katie decided she should do something really special with this cabbage, and her mom said, why don't we give it to a soup kitchen? Now, Katie, at nine, didn't know what a soup kitchen was, much less that there was one in their neighborhood, in their town, but they found one, they donated it, and when Katie found out that this soup kitchen fed 275 people with that one cabbage, in that kind of child's excitement, inspiration, she went home and said, well, I better plant another garden. She started another garden, and another, and another, and another, and now five years later, Katie has 50 gardens that she and her classmates personally oversee. She's gotten hundreds of grants for kids across the country. They have gardens in 29 states now. She founded a 501c3 organization she's the founder of. She just won a Clinton Global Citizenship Award for Vision. And she now, at age 14, has given thousands of pounds of produce to homeless shelters and soup kitchens. And when I heard this story, I mean, Katie just knocked me out. I thought, if this is what one little girl working by herself in a garden can do, what can we do with a sense of vision and then taking it into action as adults, as people with resources and far more power than a child has.